busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. A national telephone survey found that 81% of Democrats think Hillary Clinton will win the presidency if nominated. That's great news for Hillary. Then again, Democrats also thought the same thing about John Kerry <laughs> and Al Gore and Michael Bukakis. ABC News has surprisingly run a positive story about the startling turnaround in the Iraqi city of Fallujah. Apparently the city is so safe now that ABC will never report on it again. <laughs> Last week's firestorms destroyed hundreds of homes in Southern California and more than a half of a million people were told to evacuate. It was so bad, the illegal aliens on the freeway exits were selling bags of marshmallows. <laughs> This is interesting. Screeners at the Los Angeles airport missed 75% of fake bombs that were sent through security as a test. Seems like the only people doing a worse job of detecting potential bombs are TV network executives. <laughs> Actor Tim Robbins is starring in a new movie called Noise. It's about a man who wants to get rid of loud, obnoxious sounds in New York City. Hey, here's an idea. How about we start by deporting Susan Sarandon? <laughs> In other showbiz news, Kid Rock said that he was provoked into his recent fight at a Waffle House. Apparently, he was egged on by a guy claiming he was the most filthy, disease-ridden redneck in the restaurant. <laughs> Last week on The View, Whoopi Goldberg compared modern-day America to Nazi Germany. That's right, Whoopi, because a lot of black women named Goldberg would be allowed to host a morning talk show in Nazi Germany. <laughs> And finally, in a new book, Dennis Klucinich says he saw a UFO outside of Shirley MacLaine's house. Apparently, the aliens inside the UFO were searching for their leader, Ron Paul. Thanks for watching News Plus with I'm Jody Miller. Make sure to subscribe to our videos on YouTube, and we'll catch you next time.